I think what's inspired me most about Emily Ka is her intrepidness. If I, I, I can think about going out into the bush now and painting and think nothing of it, but for a woman of her time, that would have been a very unusual thing for a woman to do. It was probably an unusual enough thing for a bunch of men in the group of seven to do, let alone a woman her on her own with some dogs and a monkey and a gypsy caravan to go out into the woods and just paint and be alone out there. Um, many people would have thought that quite strange. Um, I started out by, I, I've got that big book on Emily Carr that's a compendium of all of her writings. Um, it has all the Book of Small and all the journals in it. And I just started reading and I just went outside on my property and took some charcoal and some paper and just sat down and started looking up at the tree, literally looking up at the trees. I tried to find a chair where I wouldn't fall over backwards when I sat on it and took some sketch pads and charcoal and just started drawing the trees, not trying to draw them precisely, but to, with charcoal, to just capture the energy of them. And then I just looked at all the drawings I'd done of the trees and tried to take elements out of each drawing and put them in the painting, more about trying to capture the energy that I'd captured in drawing the trees rather than what the trees were actually about or what they actually looked like. The particular, um, the title of the piece is Flying into the Wordless, and I got that title from a part in her journals, and she speaks of a quote from Walt Whitman, where he uses the words flying into the wordless, and she was captivated by those words because for her, they captured the whole feeling she had of being out in the wilderness with the trees and that sense of the spirit and the sense of God or the sense of what is the spiritual in nature that she felt when she was out there and those words really spoke to me how they captured her and they captured me and i looked at the painting and said yep that's the title and that was it